Hey Slayers, so this video is about quick, everyday, simple makeup in the morning. Um, this is for people who you know are on the go, women on the go, or women in a workplace who want to look polished and put together but not over the top, people who don't really like a lot of makeup, or people like me who want to trick others into believing that their life is together, okay? I think with this look, you look like, you know, you go grocery shopping, you drink eight bottles of water a day, you don't let your gas tank get under, you know, a quarter tank. You make your bed up every day, take your laundry out and put it right in your car. Like those type of people, okay? I'm not that kind of girl. I'm a up till 5 a.m. kind of girl. I'm a reruns of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia kind of girl, you know? Uh, <laughs> lots of trips to Mad Max, you know, randomly by myself. I'm one of those people. <laughs> but with this makeup and these nifty little Nike sets make me look like I go to the gym regularly. And um, I haven't been to the gym in months and Planet Fitness is still taking that money out of my account every single month. <laughs> but anyway, I'm faking a funk with this cute little face. And then, hey, y'all, I did not even know that this shirt came with the thumb. What? Only people who have their life planned out do the thumb holes. Is this for bike ride? Oh, honey, I don't know. With this face and these thumbs and one of these guys oh girl we got this let's go let's just go ahead and get into it because we got this we, we got it the key to having really pretty simple everyday makeup is making sure that your skin is healthy and taken care of so after i wash my face i moisturize with my clinique dramatically moisturizing dramatically different moisturizing lotion she different and then i just let that go ahead and marinate a little bit in my face and i take my fast response eye cream from mac and what this does is it just kind of wakes up that under eye area. So if you're somebody who really has, you know, bags or something, there's a little bit of caffeine in this and it just really kind of helps to brighten and sort of depuff that area. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my skin with my Dr. Brandt's pores no more and just put that in the areas where I wanna reduce the appearance of you know large pores um, and then I got this little sample from Lorac it's the Perfection mattifying face, um, face primer and I'm just gonna try it it came when I ordered um, a bunch of stuff and uh, I'm oily so hopefully this is nice I'll see how I like it if I like it I'll buy the big one now I'm going to take my cover FX blemish stick and this is the color NX deep and I'm just gonna go where I have some hyperpigmentation, some dark circles, just a touch over, you know, blemishes, acne scars. And I'm using um, N, which is neutral because I have a fair share um, of, you know, golden and reddish undertones. So neutral products tend to work best for me when I'm doing you know stuff to sort of equalize my complexion even my complexion so from there I'm going to take my cover effects BB gel and this is a mattifying anti-blemish treatment um, gel covers really really nicely but still very naturally and I'm gonna put this one with my hands when I first bought it I uh, I was using a brush and I was like eh. Then I actually read it. Reading is so fundamental, guys. Like, <laughs> the instructions say, use your hands. So, yeah, it goes on very nicely with your hands. And um, I didn't think that tunic moisturizers or BB gel, stuff like that, would be a option for me because I have scarring and I want something that has nice coverage. But this has amazing coverage. It's lightweight, but it still kind of covers like a foundation. It really gives you that nice second skin peel. From there, I'm gonna take my MAC Prep and Prime pen in color Peach Luster. It's like a little secret weapon because that peachy color gives such a nice wash of like a natural highlight to my face and is so lightweight. So it's definitely not like my um, MAC concealers or my Pro Longwear concealers. 
but it just gives that really pretty natural looking highlight it's gorgeous and you can also use it if you have very light scarring um, you can also use it as a color corrector Take it down the bridge of my nose, just the areas where I want the light to hit me naturally down the center of my face. So then I'm gonna take my Caddy Wop on a fluffy brush and then just kind of set those products. Fluffy brush is gonna keep that looking really natural, but still set it. And I'm only gonna highlight down the center of my nose. I'm not gonna fake or anything like that because this is quick. So my nose doesn't have much definition, so I like to just at least get some of that there. And then if you really, really want to, you could take just a little under your eye really want to if you're like me and you just can't help yourself just a little take this brush whatever is left over from the last time I've done my makeup just gonna go around those edges okay <laughs> so I'm going to go down the sides of my nose just a little I'm going to take my MAC brow crayon I'm not sure if this is stud or spike. I think it's stud. You can use spike if you really want a really minimal look on the brow. So I'm going to be doing light strokes. And that's what I love about the matte crayon. I haven't used the Anastasia um, brow crayon. I did buy it from my mom um, very recently because I was at Sephora and she needed a brow pencil. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure it's comparable. I remember her saying, she said, why is it so hard? Um, I guess like the crayon itself is hard. And I told her with that, it's, it gives like, uh, okay, how can I explain this? Like, it's not gonna smudge. When the crayon is hard, it won't smudge and it'll go right where you want it to go. And it's longer lasting throughout the day. Whereas if you're using, a very soft brow pencil or crayon um, that's going to tend to run. This is easy to work with because the tip is so fine and I can create the appearance of small, you know, fine hair. So it's going to make it look much more natural that way, if that's making sense. So I'm just finally quick little strokes. Say it with me, that's what she said. I know, I can't help myself. If you have a lot of brow hair, then you may not even need to do this at all. Um, you might just need to take like a, a tinted brow gel and just go over them. And I'm gonna use my, I've noticed that I actually kind of skip that stuff in all my videos, but I actually do do that in real life. I take my clear brow gel from um, Anastasia and go over my brows to set them and keep them in place all day. Brows intact. Does anybody, do you know where that video is from? Y'all need to see that video if y'all don't know what that's from. It's hilarious, it'll change your life. Victoria Doug Hardy, know the name. Now, I'm going to take my little brow gel and go right over those hairs, set them in place. Keep them from dabbing all over your face. So if you're going to clean up your brows, I would use a concealer or even a foundation that's very close to your complexion because you're not really trying to highlight them, you just want them to look clean. So for this, I will use my Cover FX Concealer um, just because this actual shade is warmer than my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. And that's just, you know, due to the shades that I happened to buy them in. It was different times of year. That's all that really came down to. Um, I love both concealers though. So in the summertime, I was using my Cover FX all over my face because I was dark, uh, chocolate. But then when the winter came, started getting a little paley pale, Chick-fil-A sauce like I told y'all before. And so I, I switched back to my studio finish because it looks lighter. For everyday makeup, I don't really 
want to do any shadow but I don't want to look like a zombie I'll just take my bronzer kind of go over that this is my queen collection bronzer kind of go over that area and while she's in my hand I'm going to go ahead and bronze the rest of my face this is really quick stuff that you don't even need a mirror for. Like sometimes if I'm really in a rush, I'll just be kind of walking around the house and doing this. This is a Sedona Lace FB03 brush. And so the taper part, it'll naturally just go into the contours, into the hollows of your cheeks. And then the fluffier part, you know, it'll kind of diffuse there with the rest of the face. So this brush sort of does the work for you. It dips in to the hollows and the contours where it's supposed to. And that's just going to add some warmth back to my face. I like to look warm. I like to look toasty. And now I'm going to take my mascara. And this is my Clinique High Impact Extreme blah, 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 blah. The name is so freaking long. It's this joint. And it's my favorite. I want to try some new mascaras, but I'm addicted to this one. And just wiggling that from the root. To the tip that wiggle is so important wobble baby wobble baby wobble because what it does what it does is it keeps your lashes from clumping so go ahead and wiggle it yep and then i'm also going to pull them out i don't know if you can see that pull that out to the side and what that kind of does is opens your eye up so wobbling up in the middle and wobbling to the side I almost like a little bit of a cat eye some people even like to do brown mascara um for like everyday looks i am not one of those people i don't like anything brown like hair wise i hate brown hair on me and that includes my lashes so i'll just be sticking with the black but some people do prefer a brown mascara for everyday makeup. It's a little bit more subtle. Or if you're younger, um, like you know, in your teens and stuff, I, that's an option. And then I'm taking this along the bottom, being careful not to get this on my bottom lid. But if you kind of want a little bit of definition on the bottom and you don't feel like putting on eyeliner then you kind of could smudge it along the bottom just a touch at the waterline to do the appearance of mascara I mean eyeliner and another trick is if you don't want to put like eyeliner on your top liner um, but you still want a little bit of definition you can actually put eyeliner under your uh your lash line right there being very careful and definitely not with a liquid because you will burn your eyeballs out but that's another trick where it gives a little bit of definition um, along your lash line but still keeping it like a really simple quick everyday look so the lips will be kept very simple um hmm, what I like to do these days is I like to take a liquid uh, lipstick along the outer portions of my lips almost acting as a lip liner and this is ice mocha from Gerard cosmetics which I am nuts about I like to use the liquid lipstick as a lip liner and then put an actual like cream lipstick or whatever in the middle portions or on top I think the lip the the matte is just like a good base helps to really Keep everything sticking together without having a line and 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 line. It can like take forever. And if you have lips like mine, <laughs> I don't know where these damn things stop or where they begin. So you need to be sure that you're actually lining your whole lip without it being messy because a lot of times I'll look back at pictures and be like, oh, that stupid like blank space around because I thought I lined my entire lip or filled in the entire lip and I did not. Then this is Velvet Teddy. I don't want to use Velvet Teddy. I wanted to use Self Aware. No. Actually, Self Aware. Which is like 
the prettiest nude. Mm, 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 mm. This is from Mac. And I'm a nude freak. I just keep buying them and buying them. And buying them. I don't care. And just getting those mixed together nicely. And then I'm going to take Dainty by Anastasia Beverly Hills in just a little bit. And Lynette. Boom. Now, for a little bit of highlight, I'm not gonna do blush, but I am gonna do highlight. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is the Peach Nectar. And um, take that illuminator, and I'm gonna use a blush brush instead of a highlighting brush so that it can be a more diffused look. I don't want it to be harsh. I like a heavy highlight usually, but because this is just a very light makeup, Using this blush brush instead is going to help me better diffuse that and just take it down the center of my face. I'm not even going to change brushes. And just a light dusting. You don't want a lot. You can pop a little bit in the corners, the tear ducts to kind of open up those eyes and under your brow. That's up to you. But this is just a really fresh face. I care about myself a little. Yeah, and this is something that should only take you 10 or 15 minutes, um, 20 tops. So, I'm going to spray. So this was just a quick way to do some really simple, easy, but really pretty everyday makeup. And it's great for if you know you just have things to do in the city, if you're a professional woman in the workplace and you want to look polished and put together, or if you're like me, somebody who wants to trick other people into believing that she has her life together. I mean, with this look and these thumbs, you know, I look like my bills come out automatically every month rather than somebody who buys hard cider buy the six pack <laughs> but no um so yeah it's just little things um one of the biggest things for really nice everyday simplistic makeup is having healthy skin and healthy skin doesn't mean that you don't get oily or that you don't break out sometimes but it means like you take care of your skin you're cleaning it regularly never ever ever sleep in makeup did I say never? Never sleep in makeup. Um, exfoliate at least, you know, once, twice a week. Moisturizing, no matter what, you need to moisturize at night, you need to moisturize in the morning. Um, all of those little things, it really helps the overall health of your skin, the complexion, everything like that. And then, you know, when you want to do really simplistic makeup, you can because your skin is already sort of healthy um, and smiling. Just kidding, I don't smile. Resting bitch face, um, not with the wrinkles, bro. But anyway, so if you have any questions, give me, you know, shoot me a comment or whatever. Um, you can probably find a, a really nice BB gel or cream or tinted moisturizer in the drugs. I don't really do um, drugstore products like that. Um, sorry, but um, yeah. So until next time, slay on slayers.